The reason why they are holding a potluck right now is because I'm running for student council election. for student union as I said and now we're campaigning this is kind of like a brownie a finished brownie and we'll be offering it to people for voting for us it's a bribe <laughs> this is the poster this is the brownie these are the teas I'm cooking some chicken curry for the international potluck and this is going to be a malai curry basically I'm using a lot of yogurt and I need to use like raw garlics for it and peeling them is like the most annoying thing ever. I could use garlic powder and I have garlic powder but I just want some of that authentic taste if you know what I mean. Garlic done. Now time for the onions. Onion. Today's event, it's an international potluck. Every person will be bringing food from their own country. A potluck. It's the first time I'm attending a potluck, but I did attend some events where you bring food from your own country. I cooked chicken there too. I wish I could cook other, but the vast majority of dishes I know either like relate to fish from my country, mutton, and I want this to be as broad as possible. So yeah, I was talking about the international potluck. The reason why they are holding a potluck right now is because I'm running for student council election. I'll post one of the posters, uh, the candidacy posters. These are big enough. I would have been able to make an amazing vegetable broth if this was my home kitchen but I just don't have the equipment like large pots and just, it doesn't have to be anything fancy. I'm going to fry them and lightly add them. Soak these in cold water. And that's it for now. Uh, the potluck is in two hours. I'm going to take a five minute rest. <laughs> Maybe more than that. I'm going to listen to a song or two. I'm going to put the whole spices in. Let's see how it goes. Coriander seeds. Whole black pepper. Cumin. Poppy seeds. No, it's not a drug. It's a very delicious spice. This is the marinated chicken, marinated in turmeric, cumin, lettuce free Greek yogurt. The chicken is in, frying some pita bread, I don't know if they will go good with the chicken curry. This is the remaining marinade, I put some water in. This is so much spice and yogurt, no sense in wasting all of this. This is starting to look quite appetizing, isn't it? I wish you guys could smell the smell. So this is the potluck event. Yeah. It's a Japanese. I'm gonna try it. These are Greek. 
That's Catalonian, Japanese. This is just fried food and cupcakes. There's like fog. So smoky, but it, this is actually mist, I would say. Temperature today is plus four degree, and that's a huge shift from the other days where it was minus consistently. A nice change, except for the roads. They are very disgusting. The roads are slippery, and they're sludgy, and they're wet, and my shoes get wet, and there's like ice everywhere. And I think in Finnish this is actually called shit snow or sh slurry shit or something like that. Does it look like it's night? Does it look like it's the evening? It's actually noon or afternoon I guess. It's 3.30 p.m. now. In my country during this time at this hour it would be sunny as hell even in winter. And here it's already evening. The lights are on. See in the buildings. The cars are using their headlights. The ground is fucking disgusting. Let me spin. I'm going to another campus for a workshop on creating CVs. I have never created a professional CV in my life. I have an academic curriculum fitter or whatever they're called. I needed it to apply to university even here in Finland. I don't have one for jobs. And from tomorrow onward, there will be a job fair. You can apply to various companies for internships and summer jobs. It's going to be a workshop on CVs. I have no idea if it's going to be in Finnish or English. It's 20 minutes late and I don't think the Finns are happy. Yeah, they are not happy at all. It's 15 minutes to 5. Can you fucking believe it? What kind of weird country am I in? They call this the closest place to heaven on earth, mainly because of the security, the healthcare, egalitarianism, and all that good stuff. And trust me, having human rights is a huge plus. It's raining, I'm walking in the rain. It's quite an experience walking in weather like this. This is caramelized sugar. I'm going to make a paesha. It's quite a simple little dish. I'm gonna put this milk here. I'm soaking some rice. Let me just put the milk in first. Okay, I poured nine cups of the milk in. Uh, oh, it's caramelized and oh, yeah, it's, see this, these are caramel brown sugar. I have to thicken this until this is like one third of the size. I'm gonna put some cheese here because I'm in Finland, so why not make it a Finnish taste? I have some cardamom and I'm going to crush them. Okay. This is cardamom but powdered. I couldn't find another variety, I'm going to have to rip this up. Okay, I put the cardamom powder in. I put the rice in. Just breaking the clumps across various axes. This is done. And as you can see at the very bottom, I think it's some things are sticking there. Oh, it's part of the, oh, I get it. It's, holy shit, yeah. That should not be sticking there. I'm walking at night. No one around me. Oh, there's people in front of me. Okay. Actually, we have the student election results coming in now. And I was one of the international candidates standing for the election. We had a really nice international dessert supper where everyone cooked sweet items from their own country. Okay, right, right. I was about to start to see and hear the results. Axel Immonen. Axel Immonen, head of the election body. And we will be looking at the results. There's natural scientists, saivat näistä 12, jos en muista teidän kaikkien valmiittuja englanninkielisiä, niin vielä pahoittelen. 
Pidi saya kan Pidi tahun 1968 Oh no oh no Ni kunake as we can see the number of votes decreased this time by a lot so let's see the final results. Oh! Okay. So, so the yellow one is us and we got a lot more. Okay. That looks good. We got seven seats. So they're announcing the representatives for each group. Alvar and Union, the Union of Alvar. Are you guys ready over there? Yes. Alright, let's see them. Eli, the chosen representatives oh, for the Repco are as follows. Oh. Siri Kettunen with uh, 109 votes, Matti Heikila with 47 votes. Oh. Both of us got in. With 46, Shasvato Sarker with 45. Oh. Joshua Millman with 34, Yalota Tuomene with 31. Wow! Oh, thank you. I got in! I guess I got in. My Finland life is beginning to shape up into something. I am getting a regular routine. I am progressing in my studies, hopefully. Still behind on some of the assignments, but not so much that it will affect my grade very negatively. If I have a good life here, my folks back home will be less worried. It's kind of cruel to think that because I'm doing better now, I'm missing home less, but it is what it is. And I know that I'm better for it. I'm going back from the election results I got in. Wow. Who voted for me? Why? I have no idea. I hope I'm not too bad of a council member, but for the next two years, hoping nothing goes wrong, I will be one of the 41 council members of the student union of the University of Uvascula. A responsibility, and I do have to give it some honest time, but I hope I'll do a good job. After this ends, two years later, I hope I'll be a better person. I hope I have grown as a human being, someone who has worked with other Finnish people in teams. And yeah, now I'm waiting for a bus. I'll see you on the other side. I'm at Prisma and I'm treating myself today because I don't know the day has been a bit slow so I just want to eat something good. I'm at Maku Wok. I think they make steered fried wok ramen, udon, egg noodles, buckwheat noodles, stuff like that. I'm taking the shrimp one with a few sides but hopefully it will be worth it. It's 13 euros. I'll just sit here. I'll be shopping at Prisma after this and maybe I'll go to Motonet and check if they have some clothes that I could buy. I don't know, I'm, I'm treating myself today. Yeah. <laughs> I took that one. I'm going to have to buy oyster sauce and soy sauce. I'm going to go out to the university. The first class is my Finnish class and I'm just gonna get ready. Question for you guys. Do you guys have landlines in your home? Do you guys have them? Answer in the comments below if you do. Okay, I know I've got no prizes for you. Just comment, man. Just comment. Pretty snowy out there. Why do I have to? <laughs> my, before I came to Finland, I slipped and broke my foot. And oh my god, this is. You see these footprints? Do you hear the sound? This isn't the snow, sound of snow being tread upon, this is the sound of ice being broken. Children are playing.
very weird. Taking a shortcut. Okay, that's the Ez building. It's 150 or I think 160 years old and where my Finnish class will be held. That's the place. I'm going to a Latvian event. Today is the Independence Day of Latvia and my friends from Latvia who are here in Finland, Jane students mainly, they're hosting a cultural show and I'm heading that way. I'm going to meet up with my local Finnish friend. Hopefully it's going to be a fun event. I think this is the Kvokkalan center. Or it's, there's a bar. It's a weird ass building with weird ass roof architecture. And that's a bell tower. <laughs> wow. Yeah.